ones, the, the press release of IPOB said, um, ban on cow meat is no declaration of war against the North, but a necessary step to stop unprovoked attack by Fulani men in Biafra land. This is IPOB writing in, uh, this is our press release. We must understand that indeed our press release is very, very important. Each time it comes out, you must go through our press release. The attention of the global movement and the family of indigenous people of Biafra IPO, Biafra led by a great leader, Mazin Namdi Kanu, has been drawn to the latest ranting by a Fulani group of bigots against IPOB member and ESN operatives, including entire people of Biafra living in the north. These irritants have called for the boycott of all Igbo products in the north as a retaliation for the proposed ban on meat in Biafra land with effect from April. Fulani, listen, all those things, they can't even boycott our thing. If they boycott, they no go drive car. Now we they sell motor, now we they import the sport to the sell to them. They can't. If a Fulani boycott anything, Igbo man touches hand, they will die under under 72 hours. Fulani would not will, will, will frozen completely. We live there now. What do they have? If they say anything, Nyamani touches that they are not going to. Both spare pass everything. Abba. Fulani will go, go die instantly now. I wish they will. But the press release is telling you to that we are civil, we are mad, is because of that cow we are using to destroy things in our farmland. But anyhow, you bring it, we are radio, not that we are pleading. We want to let the world understand what the level we are. Let's continue. We did not ban cow meat, but those cow that we are destroying our farms and those raping our mothers, wives, and sisters in the farm, their friends can buy foreign cow and not the one that can bring Fulani terrorists in our territories. You see it? You hear it, Fulani? is because we are supporting the thing that are killing us, destroying us by eating your cows. We are contributing in destroying ourselves. That is why this decision we are taking and it stands forever. By April 8th, anything Fulani cow meat can never come our land. Because you are also destroying our soul, our spirit. We can't take it. That is why everybody must get prepared for rearing cow. You support people, you bring money, sponsor people in villages everywhere. We will we a long time. Chicken. Even chicken meat is better than cow meat if you don't know. Chicken is better than cow. Red meat is dangerous to your health. Some of you don't know red meat go and ask doctor you are from 40 50 you in atasuya it's not good even to your system R white meat is better chicken and all those things is better than the, this thing you are eating talk less of the the how this something that have been desecrated to destroy your spirit but we are helping you because we are the awoken we are the beer friends are woken ones we will help our own brothers let's continue This threat by this um, misguided northern group called themselves Northern Coalition Group who has further confirmed the belief that the atrocities of Fulani rapists, herdsmen in Biafra land, in Biafra land and other parts of Nigeria are a common agenda of the North, particularly the Fulani and their terrorists. Uh, disguised as henchmen and cattle rearers in all part of Nigeria and Biafra. That's it now. They shield, they shield the terrorists. They shield the, 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 the whole terrorists in Nigeria. Remember the first time on 26th of um, uh, 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 is it uh, 26th of uh, November when Fulani we are uh, uh, Fulani uh, we are proscribed bandits we are proscribed as um, terrorists. The same elders came out, said they need clarification. They need clarification. The same mate, the Allah now, if you want to settle herdsmen that are killing people, Mate the Allah will pop out. Mac bans. They are the ones shielding. You don't you see how we banned the terrorists that are coming into our land to sell cow for us. You see the coalition of northern group pop out. 
Everything in the north is terrorist. Northern group, oh, northern elder, whatever you see, they call them, they are terrorists. They are the ones financing all this, the group, killing people, oh, and they are making money. Are you telling me that if the people sponsoring bandits and uh, 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 Iswap are, let's say, Igbo people or Yoruba people, that Nigeria will keep quiet, that the northern will keep quiet? It's because they are the one. Babangida, them, Abdusalam, Abubakar, them, uh, uh, Tambual, them. Uh, Somali them was the and was them all of them all the whole criminal is a is a all of them mention their name they are El Rufai thank you all of them are the one financing these people they know what they are doing criminals everywhere how come these hypocrites never threaten Fulani henchmen as they invade communities and kill farmers in Biafra land without any provocation? Now that we have decided to boycott and ban cow meat and instruct our people not to eat beef, but now Fulani threaten us with war because they think we are vulnerable and weak to kill at random. We are doing this so that we can have peace in our communities. The real sponsor of the ongoing genocide and numerous dead in our land have surfaced. Good. A very wonderful one from Emma Powerful. A very wonderful one. They just pop out. Immediately, you see, they, to tell you, the moment you touch the hot spot, they pop out immediately. They know what they are doing. They, know, they did not condemn these people. All this while they are raping people, destroying people's farm. They never said anything. They thought we are weak. You see war, anyhow you turn it, brother, these are the last days. The last days on the planet Earth is full of chaos. You may believe, you don't believe, but you will see it. You see this world, as the world is approaching towards the last days, to the earth, for the earth to be reformed, whether you believe the earth will end or it doesn't end, it is full of chaos. They don't give you Corona, Omicron, Delta, uh, this one, everywhere, booster, boosting you with all my... This is how the war, the chaos will continue. So tell him, Flanny, we are not afraid of war. Bring anything. We will. It's going to happen. Moreover, Nigeria can never be in peace again. Zoo, Zoo is dead now. I can can have peace. Let's continue. Time is not on my side to analyze more on this. More things are coming. However, we are waiting for Flanny terrorists to carry out their threat against Igbo traders and businesses' interests in the north. Come April, when the ban will take effect. They should remember and understand that the era of intimidation of Igbo people in Nigeria has gone wonderful. Nobody has the monopoly of anything anymore against our people. If they do, they will regret their action because this has gone for that rubbish. Hmm. Please, any place you see them, now go in one bottle. Go in for one bottle. This press release, oh wait. In here one bottle, come on, aracha, aracha. This press release in have wait. You don't know what these people thought. Every time, me gra gra gra, hey, boom, mother, balaga. The era has gone. One nigga kwadu, ono balaga na kwadu. Oru hana whatever they bring out, aye nye fe fe fatro. Short and simple. What they garbaging is what we're going to garbage out for them. And the thing will end with evil. You fight evil. Short and simple. With evil, you fight evil. Beside the genocide, beside the genocidal attack by henchmen against innocent communities in Biafra land, will soon gone. As for the cows, the as for the cow they bring to us are defiled, and we won't allow it again here in Biafra land. Evidence around of viral videos. Where these animalistic elements have illicit and abominable sex with cows. The video is everywhere now. I still have it on my system here. If it is vid if it is uh, live now, I will stream it. You see it where somebody is sleeping with cow. Such is a taboo and an abomination to our land and remains sacrilege in our culture and tradition. Our God abhor it and our land does not less such evil never again shall we allow Biafra land to become a dumping ground for defiled cow never 
You see why you respect IPOB of Mazin Nam the Kano. You see why you respect the DOS. Can your governor say such a thing? Can your member of House of Assembly Senate all these criminals? Hamuriki Wagyu Dioku, Hamuriki Kupta Woku Diota, a refu more and we fear a refi, a jue mega sea fair diana, and yet again a tafoga neco. That is why you boon you, we phone you, we beg you, boy. Ebony Lana, one of South Africa, all you, Bobas is on you, but now Bobus on offer. In a judication, why? Man, the same business, ah, that call on you, but on your fuller, on your. On your kafaya, on your Yorubana, the same South Africa. Oga ha, ebe ya nyo, oga ha babu mwe. Man ofu hala no nyo, bo na so the same house. So, all because of ifi in Eli. That is why you must respect. These people we called our DOS are very spiritual and intelligent people. You must respect them. You must respect them. Because this press release bu wait, oh bu wait. On we keep here, or you don't know. This is in your weight. It comprises of a lot of things. Time is not on my side to digest this very, very well. But we must continue. No coalition should have first should have first question Flanny Hesman on why have why they have sex with cow. Film such abominable acts by themselves and post the video to the world. What is the reason for such Beastly behavior. Wh who do they want to hypoten to hypotentize? Who do they want to hypnotize? Why is it that the Northern Coalition never cautioned their people to stop sleeping with cows and selling the defied animal for people to eat? They don't ask that question because they know what they are doing. They want to destroy you, make you become stupid, you get away, they penetrate and take over your land. That's all. The baseless claim by the Northern Coalition Group and the Ariwa Youth Coalition Group that IPOB has declared war against the North cannot fly because they started it by destroying alcohol and hotel belonging to Igbo people in the North. Why it does not belong to the Fulani only? That is it. They have started destroying our thing. They have started the war already. The war is on. They have been doing it. Beverages, alcohol, what our people are saying, hotel business, they destroy it in the north. IPOB is wise and knowledgeable enough to know what it means to declare war. We are and remain a peaceful movement. We are only trying to safeguard Biafra land against further attack and pollution by Fulani Hessmen. Nobody should miss misconstrued our honest action since the federal government and the compromised security agency have failed to protect our communities and against incessant attack by Fulani Hessmen using their cows as excuse we want to serve everything above cows so we can have a peace have our peace we must not eat cow meat again that come from Fulani people. Let them export their cow meat to their own country in West Africa and other part of African country. Wonderful. Biafra land is not. Let them take it to other places. Take it to Ghana. Take it to Ghana. Take it to. They have money. Ghana cities is more distant than Naira. You make money there. Let's see if Ghanaians are going to born Jaja there as they did before. Sharia police, Hizba, destroyed and keep destroying many business in the north, especially alcohol and hotel, majority of which are owned by Igbo businessmen. And the hell has never been let loose in retaliation, and these heartless beasts in human form are still collecting VAT from alcohol and hotel and hotels nigerian government did not say anything about it they say that they are doing sharia and whatever but they collect the proceed the tax that come from alcohol and even the the tax the money they tax people who are selling who are doing piggery they still collect the they still collect the tax and eat they don't eat it too but they eat the task but let's continue what is more than a declaration of war by the Fulani than that has the federal government or any northern state government at any time said anything against the barbarity 
How can the Northern Coalition maintain criminal silence over such atrocity, but cry foul and threaten Amagedom over simple ban on the file animal? That has been that has been the excuse for unprovoked attack and the wanton destruction of life and property of innocent Biafrans by the Flanny Hessmen. We want to encourage our people to be prepared for what is to come. Exactly. Be prepared. Nobody should be taken unaware. Enough is enough. IPOB is ready to enforce this ban on cow meat. We are ready. There are other alternatives for animal protein. We encourage our people to go into poultry, farm, goat railing, and fish production. Nobody should dare violate this ban when it takes effect in April, as doing so amount of testing the will of the people. Comrade Emma Powerful, Media Publicity Secretary for IPOB. We are not going back. Everybody should go back to rearing of cows. Go and start rearing your own cow immediately. That is that. Our lines are open. If you are following the program, time is not on our side. You just call in and make your contribution. The thing is that uh, we are not going to eat flanny cow anymore. Anything flanny cow is not going to be in our land. We have to stop it. I stopped eating it for a very long time because it's dangerous to my spirit, to my soul. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. You are not supposed to eat it. And whatever threaten they are bringing, let them... You have, you, they're not, these people have brain now. Fulani have brain. They have brain. Why is it that all this why they don't do their gragra again in the north? Like in those days, they start burning and doing all. They don't do it. Let them do it. Now let Nigeria end. They know that people have realized. People have come to understand the game. And uh, if they do, they are going to lose. So they are petting, petting, petting to tell that the zoo is coming to an end. For them, let them fight. Let them start the fight. Fulani start the fight in the north. Start killing people. Start bombing. Let's see who is going to lose. Mad people everywhere. This is Radio Biafra House Service 2 coming to you from the platform of Radio Biafra London under the leadership of one and only Onion Dumazi Namdikano. Oh, Madike, one of Biafra land. Mazin Namdikano is the only incorruptible leader of the indigenous people of Biafra. He's the director of Radio Biafra and her television, the commander of the armies of Biafra, the greatest man living on this planet Earth. And this broadcast is coming to you from me, a servant of the Most High, a servant of the indigenous people of Biafra, and a proud disciple of our leader in the person of Wacheneke.